Morning Meditation, Friday, June 9th, 2023. Contentment. Do you have it? I was reading Richard Sibbs the other day, and I want to read a quote from his book here in a moment. But first, I want you to read this passage with me in Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, starting at verse 12. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. That's contentment. In all circumstances, whether we are brought low or whether we are abounding, we are content. In any circumstance, Paul says, he has learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger abundance and need. Did you catch that? He learned. Contentment is not something that we are naturally born in. As children in Adam, we are estranged from God. We are God-haters, and the last thing we want to do is be content. We are dissatisfied with our lot in life, and we want to make a name for ourselves, and we go after it and go get it. And there's not always bad that comes from that. However, this sinful self-ambition, in the name of making a name for ourselves, we oftentimes don't live for God and we don't honor Him by being thankful in our contentment. And so, are you a content person? Are you characterized by contentment? And This is something that each of us must ask ourselves and be challenged by, because there are times when believers struggle with being content. I want you to hear this from Richard Sibbs. He says, The child of God has grace even to overcome the sins that accompany abundance. He has grace to be lowly-minded in a great state, not to trust in uncertain riches. He knows that he has an inheritance of better things in another world, which teaches him to set a small esteem upon all things below. God is teaching us to esteem all things here below as small in comparison to the glory that awaits us. And so in the meantime, by way of being united to Christ, there is a sense in which we are content. The Holy Spirit is helping us and growing us so that we become more content, so that we grow in godliness in this area. But brothers and sisters, make no mistake about it. It is a virtue that we must learn. We must grow. And as Paul said, he knows how to be brought low and he knows how to abound. And in any and every circumstance, he has learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. Lord, bring us to the school of the Holy Spirit to teach us how to be a content and thankful people. In Jesus' name. Well, I pray you all have a blessed weekend, a good Lord's Day, and a refreshing time with the saints. Grace and peace.